Uh, hi everyone. So in this video, let's try to get the power set or subset of an array. So this is a array given to you, const array, and this contains one, two, three. So subset of this array, which uh, we are trying to get, is array of array empty array. Then it will be one. It will be two and three also, and then the all the combinations of it. 2, 1, 3, 1 and so on. Okay, these are subset we are trying to get here. All the possible subset of an array. So how we can do it that we will see in this. So here is our code const power set. Okay, in this we are passing this array. This array as an input, and here we will try to do this. So let's say const result. Initially, we initialize this array with empty set first. Okay, and here we will run a loop. Let me just increase the size. Here we will run a loop onto this. Let value of this array, and from this first we will just get the length. Of our existing result. Okay, and here we will run a nested nested loop to get all the results. So first we are iterating onto this array. Okay, so here we are running a for loop. Let i is zero. I is less than length. I is less than length. I plus plus. Okay, here we will just create a temp variable and we will just create the clone of result which is already there, the result of i dot slice of 0. So it's like a, we create, got a copy of the existing array we have and then we just do a temp dot push the value which we are iterating from an array. It should be val and result dot push. Finally, we will just push this element. Now, result has the two elements: this empty array and the one which we have pushed, right? Now you again iterate onto this. The length is now become result dot length now become two, so it will iterate till length two in temporary result of i dot slice and the temp dot push so we are just create getting this slice and temp dot push the new value to and then we are just pushing that value to the two so one two three then the, the larger elements this can be done uh, in a simpler way like getting all subset but i avoided that in the initial phase because this looks complex when you just do a reduce and all those things together get all subset of an array we are running a reduce and this subset we are returning we are initialize this uh, whole subset with the empty array okay and then we are doing a concat and whatever the elements we are picking we are just doing a map so we can actually iterate on one by one this is a shortcut and this is little bit more for understanding okay so this is for getting all the power set or subset of a given array to us